Hi friends. Um, we're here doing another weekly roundup for February. Um, I just did a coat on my nails and I've already added texture to them. Thank you to the Countess for that term, which basically summarizes it perfectly. Um, so we aren't here to talk about my nails, thank goodness. We're here to talk about my last week in inks. So I asked some people and it turns out that at least one of you maybe hates me a little bit and suggested that I do a Ferris wheel press little Rubinia. So I did. That was a week. <laughs> I'm looking for this. I, I guess I left a bunch of stuff downstairs. So I'm going to pause. All right. First, in case it's not obvious, I'm joking. I'm saying that you hate me for suggesting. That's why you suggested Little Verbinia. Uh, that was Simone. I don't believe that she hates me. But I asked, and I'm, I'm glad that she picked this. So I only had a sample of it, which in itself presented problems because I didn't have enough to fill five pens. So what I did, I filled these two. I, I, man, I pushed ink out of one of them and then filled this one. And then instead of trying to fill these two, this is broad in 1.1, I swapped nibs because this seems to have really good flow. I think its feed is beautiful. So anyway, this is all that's left of my sample. Um, I perhaps gave a little bit of spoilers in that I let you know what I thought of the week. So here's what it looked like. Here's the swatch card. Here is what this looked like. And what I really want to point out, y'all, Purple Jade Rabbit is so similar. <laughs> and in fact, the pins where the shimmer didn't come out all the way, and it's got some of that Purple Jade Rabbit shimmer in it, really <laughs> the difference I mean there is a difference I think a uh, little Rubinia is a bit warmer but still I just thought that was so funny that back to back so I'll show you the writing I didn't do as much writing this week I did copy more poetry I don't know what I'm gonna do for next week because this is like all the poetry that I feel like copying at this point. So I copied from my favorite poet who writes very serious stuff all of the time, Joel Silverstein. So here's, this is the extra fine, which writes really nicely. The fine, which I thought, you know, maybe I will grow to like it if I write one of my favorite poems, Hug a War. I worked on this and I did what I could. I tried flossing the feed. I tried flossing the nib. I tried like, I looked at the nib under a loop. The tines are not overly tight. It's just very dry. Here's the medium, and I feel like if you look at the difference in the color that you see of the ink, this is a fairly normal saturation, and you can even see that this one is much lighter. And then the medium is like, boom, hello, you wanted ink, here it is. Now this is a little darker here because this has just been inked. So this is probably more indicative of its normal color, but I did find myself having to prime uh, the feed a few times um, because this is such an unlubricated ink. This poem, by the way, sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. 
is like my mom used to joke that this was like my poem for me. <laughs> like everything is wrong with me. I'm dying. I can't go to school. Sorry about that. And then it's like, what's that you say? You say today is Saturday. Goodbye. I'm going out to play. There you go. And can you see some of the shimmer? Not a lot. This paper, this is the um, Midori Cotton. It, it does feel a little, more, a little more dry. It feels like it soaks up the ink. And while I don't see fingerprint stuff going on, I felt it in spots. And you'll see that actually, I think. Oh, look. Secret shimmer. Um, in the 1.1. So in here... And here, I suspect, were fingerprints. Um, I, I really, so again, and this is this is a, a recurring theme. I am not enjoying these two pens. I'm not enjoying the fine. It's feeling like it needs work. The one point one. I'm just not used to getting, I don't have the writing angle correct yet. I don't have this problem with my broad signib. And I've thought about trying to shape the sides. I don't know. The broad is still suffering. I want to call it peachiness, okay, everybody? It's got some peachiness happening. Um, maybe we should say it's like a bell end. That's inappropriate. Uh, anyway, so I think I need to polish the bottom. Well, you know, I need to micro mesh the bottom a bit more. But at any rate, my favorite is this medium. This medium is just like perfect. And the funny thing is this medium nib came on my glow purple. This, this pen came with a broad and I swapped nibs. I don't typically swap nibs a lot, but reasons happened. So that was that. Something I didn't show you is in my little thing. Here's all of the purple jade rabbit. Maybe I did show you this. Well, whatever. Then I'm showing it to you again in the different uh, nib sizes. So hopefully you got good close-ups of the writing. Let's leave it still for a minute because that'll help. So this is the extra fine, the fine, medium, the broad. And the one point, hey, lay down the one point one stub. I will not be buying a bottle of this ink. Um, I think it's not that it's bad for the record. I, I liked it in this medium. It's perfectly legible for me. But I, I don't need more ink. <laughs> uh, so, skipping that. So then I was thinking, I've got one more week in February. What's up next? You know, we did a sort of standard ink with Earl Grey. We did a shimmer. We did a shimmery, shady, unlubricated ink in week two with the purple jade rabbit but that was sort of un unknown we just knew it was shimmer week three we did one of these fairly light dual shading inks so i don't know if you can tell but it is like purple and pink how do we end this what kind of what kind of ink experience should we end on like there was a part of me that's like, Maria, just maybe Lamy Blue, you know, something, something basic, something to give yourself 
an easy week with no excitement. And I thought, pff, pff, ha, surely you jest. So I looked through all my swatch cards and I looked through here to see what inks maybe I had not yet put into pens because I, with some exceptions, when I ink up a, a when I put an ink into a pen, I'm going to write in here with it. And so here, an example of an exception is um, uh, Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. I'm only going to put that in one or maybe two pens. There's no purpose. I'm not going to I'm not going to put it in a, a bunch of different ones. So forget it. It doesn't get a page. And in potential and oh, and like Strigoi, uh, Pannonia Strigoi, because that one is. Like, no, I got to put that in a pen that's easy to clean. Um, but I thought, I did think, what about those new samples I got that are calling my name, Andronople, which I don't think is how that's pronounced, but I said it and it's too late. Um, and that other one that, I don't know, well, whatever, is another magenta. Um, but then I thought, no, 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 that's not in keeping with the theme. So... Yep. Let's see super, super sheeners. Um, this ink was so over the top for me. It colored other cards. I decided the only way I'm going to get through this ink is if I mix it with water. So I did some tests with it. So this is it, full strength. This is two parts ink, one part water. This is one part ink, one part water. I liked it in this but I thought, no, 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 no. Let's go with the ink that gets all over the place. So we'll end with nitrogen. Because apparently I hate myself. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to write. I'll have to think of something. I could do more. I mean, I have, there's a lot more poems by... Shakespeare or Dorothy Parker that I own like I have books um but I don't know maybe I'll do what I had to do in sixth grade if I forgot my homework and write out the Gettysburg Address <laughs> four score and seven years ago um so did I forget things that I was going to talk about Almost certainly. Y'all are y'all are good at keeping me honest down in the comments. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you for being here, for watching, for talking back. Wait, talking back sounds me. <laughs> this is gonna be like we're 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 at the level of like I should just delete this. But you know what? It's too late. It's too late. Uh so again. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Please take care of yourself. Bye.